this is the discussion section of my experiment where I discuss my conclusions, limitations, and ways to fix these limitations. I can conclude that my prediction wasn't supported because I predicted that the frogs from the natural habitats would be larger than the frogs from the habitats with the straws, but my results proved that wrong. I also failed to reject the null hypothesis because the p-value was over the critical value. I also conclude that the frogs from the straws habitat are larger than the frogs from the natural habitat. Some limitations of this experiment is that not everyone showed up to the frog catching constantly. We started off with five people coming with us to catch the frogs, but in the end it ended up being three people. Another limitation was that we collected the frogs in different days. The third limitation was that the frogs would be caught in different conditions of the forest. Some days could have been hotter than the others, which caused this limitation. Some ways to fix the limitations is to bring a set amount of people. After bringing a set amount of people, we'll make several groups, each going to a different plot of land. We would then also choose a set amount of time, no more, no less, and collect all the frogs on the same day, so there would be a different condition of the forest.